All right, Wilford, we're doing stupid stuff. Come on. He doesn't know I'm here. Wilfred, I need you to move. Wilfred, you need to move. He doesn't notice I'm here. I'm gonna try and put one right here in his lungs. No, 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 no. Hall. Oh. And there's the state line. Welcome to the Deep South, rookie. We've got wetlands, the blues, and the American story, not to mention some of the best hunting you'll find anywhere on this earth. But the floods this year have been worse than ever, and our community is at its breaking point. Camp Haven, the summer camp we worked so hard to open last year, is under threat. If there's one thing I've learned living here, it's that Mississippi Acres folk are resilient. We don't need a savior, just a little extra help. And that's where you come in. Looks like the end of the road. I'm so sorry, but I've actually got to run. I've got a pile of papers I need to grade. I'll call you as soon as I've got a signal. Promise. So she's a teacher? There, finally. I had to add actual cell service to the list of things I miss about Chicago. Sorry that I'm so short on Southern hospitality right now, but we've got a bit of a situation. Steve Ernie from our flood relief committee was out delivering supplies to elders who couldn't evacuate on time. The levee overtopped and his trunk got totally submerged. Everything scattered. He got away safe, but we don't have the funds to let anything go to waste. Can you go take a look? The water should have mostly receded by now. I'll mark the location on your hunter mate. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So polite. All right, uh, looks like I'm wandering out past the lookout post. Uh, I haven't changed my gear either, so what do I have with me? My bow, that should be helpful. And the 357. Hopefully that'll be enough. Am I walking faster? I feel like I'm walking faster. I also feel like I'm going the wrong way, that way. <sighs> yep, that's gonna get annoying. So of course, as I have to do with all the mission series, I can't run with the HUD switch mod because, well, Never know what might get hidden. Also, I haven't had chance to, uh, haven't had chance, haven't had a chance to experiment and make sure that they didn't change render layers and that's not gonna, uh, bork anything. So for now, for at least completing the missions, what? Oh, is that bad? Oh, look, tracks. Not that I can tell what they are. Am I still going the right way? Can't seem to get my hunter mate out. There we go. Yes, yeah, still going the right way. God, no one ever cleans up after themselves. All right, cool. So now I can head over to the thing and then there's an Outlook post. Outlook post? Outlook post. Why not? Going with it. Outpost look? I don't know why my brain has to combine words unnecessarily. No way. Oh, that doesn't touch a gator. That touches a gator. That doesn't touch a gator. I have to, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I need to get to the outpost because right now I'm going to try and defend myself with a bow. This can only end well. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, it's 40 yards away. Look at that. It's so hard to keep eyes on. There it is, I think. I can't, I can't see it. Oh, I just saw an eye glint. I hit it. Oh, it's not happy about that. Stop moving. I think I got it. You're almost there. You starting to get goosebumps, or is it just me? The Delta's a weird place. He said he got stuck somewhere over there by those cypress knees. Bingo. Those are the supplies. Yeah, I'll get to that in a... Oh, Jesus. Is it dead? You're tiny. What did I get? A little female. Double longer, though. 33-yard shot. Happy with that. I mean, it's my first gator. I kind of have to keep it. Okay, it's rolling into nighttime. I need to hurry up, get this over with, get to the outpost so I can not be hunting gator at night. You got everything? Thanks. This is doing us a huge favor. Hey, um, 
Are the shadows playing tricks, or is that a briefcase I'm seeing on my feed? Let me... Let me make a quick call. Hey, Mrs. Tackett. My new counselor's out where Steve dropped the flood supplies, and there's a briefcase hanging from a tree branch. You know if that's... Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Give me just a sec. She wants to talk to you. Okay. Well, Miss Davis has got you out on a fine excursion this time of night. Betty Tackett here, chairwoman of the Mississippi Delta Big Game Club. Hi. I hate to ask, Sugar, but can you grab the briefcase? Steve's a little ornery and he'll pitch a fit if he don't get his papers back. You'll have to... Well, nothing to it. Curiosity. Wow. Hear that, Mrs. Tackett? You are phenomenal. What happened to that rookie kid I got my hunting license with who couldn't hit a broadside shot on a stationary target? <laughs> Loud and clear. I'm going to extend you an invite if you keep that up. I'm down for the count since I broke my neck, but Steve will get you an application. Hell, he owes you. Huh? Let's let's take that later, why don't we? We got to let you go, Mrs. Taggett. All the best now. Don't be a stranger, y'all. <laughs> Betty's lovely, but... She's a southern as all get out, as they say in these parts, <laughs> with everything that entails. Ah. Any markings on that briefcase? Not that I don't believe it's Steve's, it's just... I don't see anything suspicious. Let's get those supplies to the people who need them. There's an outpost not far from here. Can you swing by and drop the briefcase and supplies off there? Maybe get your breath back, too. Yes. Considering I've been here... What, 15 minutes? Already bow hunted a gator and shot a briefcase out of a tree? Oh, what a nice little shindig. God, it's like my father-in-law. I have to have a freaking bright flood lamp overlooking so when you pull up in a car, you can't see where the house is exactly. What was that? Hmm, 44 or 454? I think the 44 will do. Okay, I think that's all the colors I'm gonna possibly need through this. There's movement. I... Love it. Hate it. Pick one. Switch out the ghillie. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I guess I can drop my 700s, right? Or 600s. There's nothing last high enough here. Okay, let's get inside for a second. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. You know, I just realized something. Hang on. I went to the wrong outpost. Okay, we'll hand with you. Oh, jeez. I'll go back across the map at night, but at least I have my 44 now. What's that? Just a lump of grass. <laughs> Wait. They got an axe throwing range here? Awesome. Oh, can I do it? No. All right, well, yup. Gotta head back. Maybe we just ignore this one? Yeah, I need to get to the outpost. I need to rest up. You know, gators like chicken. I don't want to give them a taste of another white meat. Right there, wait, what is that? I can't even tell. Probably just a log. Yep, just a log. Just a, a log and that's warmed up and the water is steaming out and that's making a hissing sound. It happens. <laughs> the hell was that? Raccoon. A raccoon made? I've never heard a raccoon make that sound. I've heard him uh, uh, chitter, cheep. I don't know what you would want to call it. So this is kind of a benefit to not playing the mission series in realistic mode like I normally do, and at least going this length without it, because I can learn all these new sounds and things, so that when I do get done with the missions and switch back to full realism mode, I have somewhat a better idea what I'm doing. Of course, anyone who follows the channel is immediately calling bull. 
knowing that I still don't learn. This is, this is very eerie. So yeah, see, that sounded like a raccoon. That's a bird. Pig. Oh, in the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I, you were right there. I didn't even, yep. Too dark. I, what? Okay, that was weird. Yay, I got me a little mail. Black gold. You hear that? You're an oil field piggy. Raccoons, man, they make the strangest sounds. Oh, I was like, hey, raccoon. No, nope. those are, those are not raccoons. Man, you can get uh, pretty close to these buggers at night before they spook. Um, interesting. Raccoon <laughs> mating call. Yeah, no, that's I found this bloke's garbage and it left the lid off. That, that's what that was. <laughs> no swimming, no fishing, no camping, no feeding animals, no fires. Stay out of water. Danger noodles and bitey boots. Mental health run? Oh, okay, so like a charity run? Got it. Oh no, there's a lost cat. It's gone. I'm sorry. It's... It probably got mistaken for a chicken. Oh, wait. Raccoon! Oh, th these are 420s. I can't take it with 420s. There's a couple over here. There's another one right here. Hey, buddy. Damn it, not again. We're not usually this negligent around here. But the trucks haven't been able to stop by since the road closed. That'll do it. They're cute little nuisances, aren't they? I was fine shooting rats growing up, but when Dad had me graduate to raccoons, I told him to forget it. Well, I can't blame the little trash pandas for trying. The flood's probably gone and disrupted their entire food supply. And you know what they're like once they sniff out an opportunity for lunch. Mm -hmm. They've got these little hands. Still can't do it unless I picture them chewing through our phone cords. Can you scare them off? I'll call the sanitation workers. See if I can get them to come as soon as the roads are back in business. I mean, yeah, I spooked them. They're good and gone. I got the smell of gator blood on me. They they know better. You can just leave the stuff on the table there. I'll let Steve know. Thanks. The table? Are we referring to the cardboard boxes in front of the TV? Oh, Betty again? Can you pull her up on speakerphone? Hey, sugar, can I trouble you for a favor? The boys are having a meeting tonight to discuss our flood relief efforts. And it gets real chilly in the evenings this time of year. Well, usually they get a fire going. But right now, there ain't a single log of dry firewood anywhere in the state. And you know we've got elderly members. I believe you'll find a space heater in that outpost where you left the supplies. Could you be a deer and drop it off at our lodge? Sure. Not seeing a space heater, though. Oh, that's a radiator. I guess that is a space heater, but... Well, I'd hate to think of someone catching hypothermia. By the way, the Big Game Club has been working together with the African American Hunting Club I'm a member of on flood relief efforts. We've, uh got some history not gonna lie they weren't super enthusiastic about some transplant from chicago buying up land and opening a summer camp here even betty and even though i've been coming here since i was little i get these kids but we've both got our priorities straight the future of the community is what matters speaking of we haven't had enough hands on deck to tend to everyone's needs up until now. So there are a couple of errands around the reserve that still need doing. Like the dishes. I'll let you know if you're near somewhere you can help out. Let's head over to the Big Game Club's lodge. Make sure they get the heater before their meeting later on. Alrighty. All the way the heck up there. Can I sleep first? Is this where I sleep? This is where I sleep. Alright, time to turn in for the night. <laughs> Alrighty, it's uh, the next morning. Look who showed up to join us on the hunt. How you doing, Wilfred? 
fancy thing. I actually get to see the menu now. Haven't had you here in so long. Have a treat. Eh, still jittery. All right, what are we doing? Head to Big Game Club's launch. It'll big... Pfft, sure. Maybe it's a little too early to start. Head to the Big Games Club's... Shoot. One more time. Head to the Big Game Club's lodge. Learn English, you idiots. Way up there. All right. So we got, we got a bit of a walk of us. About a mile and a half. Uh, but I can take this road right here in front of me. All right. Uh, real quick, I guess I should mention, I'm still going to bring the bow, but I've gone ahead and swapped out my secondary for the 44. So 44, I think, is three. Or no, wait. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Three to eight for the 44, so I can blast me a gator with it if I need to. And the bow covers just about everything else. Plus, on top of that, I got my hands on... Yes, I, I know. I just gave you a treat. Uh, I also brought the new raccoon collar. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Is that the only one it does? <coughs> okay. Kind of sounds like uh, a weak duck call or a crow call or... But I guess if it works on raccoons, it works, huh? You're going to let me know if we come across a gator, right? God, I hope you are. Actually, wait a second. I swear I just saw a log move. Nope. I saw a bridge. Don't know if that's better or worse. Oh, it's going to be a fun day today. Why are we whimpering? Are we really whimpering because of that? Gator. You tracking gators, rookie? You want some advice? Hey, I don't want no silent treatment. You've read Camp Haven's handbook, right? Rule number one, our differences are our strengths. There's no shame in trying something new. I'll give you a few pointers. You show me what you can do. It's win-win. First, find where they gather. Following the waterway is a good bet. Just make sure you're packing appropriately. Their skulls are thicker than a Mississippi senator's. <laughs> Check the Codex Field Guide if you need help. So what, is this gonna be hunt a gator? Find, oh, find a need zone. Well, that's not gonna work, cause I, oh wait, there's another one. I guess I could just sneak down here and do a little watching. Maybe I'll see them pop out of the water and go somewhere useful. Oh yeah, that's not creepy at all. When I get done with missions and go back to realism mode, this is gonna be difficult because there's one, yeah, there's one. Hard to spot. Oh wait, probably a footprint, right? No, how about this? Oh, pig. You wanna go lay down somewhere? All right, Wilford, <laughs> lay down. You know what's amazing? There were two gators in front of me two seconds ago. Wait, there? Oh, there's one. Where'd the other one go? I'm gonna watch it for a bit longer, but it's kind of swimming the wrong way. I need to be going to the left. So worst comes to worst, I'll follow the shoreline up to that next uh, outpost looking thing I gotta get to. And uh, hopefully I'll spot a zone on the way. Yep, it's gone. And the only thing that really concerns me is I have absolutely no idea where the second one went. Hopefully it's not about to remind me. All right, let's uh, keep moving on here, bud. So I change course to uh, get this lookout tower. And I come out in this field, there's sign for turkey. I'm hearing deer and bear. It's raining. So far it's ticking all the boxes for why I like Leighton Lake so much. That, you know, this might end up becoming my new favorite map. I like the rain. I don't know why, there's probably some psychological reason for it. I like rain. Rain is a good thing. Look at that. Just setting a tree stand up on like that tree right there, which is currently actually downwind of the rest of the field and just being able to glass the whole thing. I see a lot of fun hunts coming out of this place. Hmm. You know, that bear is actually just about, you know, you know, wait, hang on. Did I bring anything for bear? That won't work on bear. Oh, well, maybe we'll bump into each other again. We're going the same place, I think. Right? Pretty sure. So now the lodge I need to head to is to my right downriver. But look at that. If I've ever seen gator territory, it's up here somewhere. Hopefully I can find one. Well, I was going to say sunbathing, but uh, guessing that's probably not a thing right now. Not a peep out of Wilfred. Which, uh, doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean bad things, but also really doesn't guarantee good things either. All oh, the rain is screwing with me. I thought I saw something move right... Oh, I did. And I got the zone. Ooh, that's a good-sized gator. 
Real quick, that counted, right? Find an alligator needs them. Did that not count? Where did he go? Oh. I didn't see him, but the E told me he's over there somewhere. Wait, so I found the need zone, but because I wasn't tracking it, it doesn't count? So I'll try to get to a spot where I can watch him and see if he goes to another one. Oh, is that him? Oh, there's Jesus. I didn't even see there's one like right there. Oh, that's traveling. That's a four easy. No, wait, that's the six hard who's currently traveling. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. 80 yards away. Doesn't seem like 80 yards away, right? I hope that's the rain. If not, I just heard footsteps behind me. Now, because it's the same zone, I'm not going to get it, am I? Oh, wait. What? Can I have the rest zone, please? Or can I get the thing? Oh, jeez, that's him right there. What am I looking at? Oh, there's a rock in the way. Okay, that's that four easy. He's at 65 yards. That one's still just bobbing there. Wait, I was from over there. Is there a gator, like, right here? Oh, yeah, right out there. Okay, I got another rest zone. Oh, that's another six hard. Does that count? Find where they gather. Find an alligator need zone. I've, I've done this. I have now found two. Maybe it doesn't work with the spotting thing. I actually have to go and, like, I don't know, step on it. All right, Wilford, we're doing stupid stuff. Come on. Okay, I see now. So he's facing away. There's one, like, right over this little lip here. Mm-hmm. I know, Wilford. I don't think I'm going to get close enough to use this, but I'm going to push on in, and if they hang around, I might nab me one. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's, like, four of them over here. This is brilliant. Oh, my God, this one hasn't moved. He's 20 yards away. I can no longer see the ones that are down in the water. This is, uh... Getting a little close for comfort here. Hi, buddy. Wilfred, do not get in my way. Uh-oh. He doesn't know I'm here. Wilfred, I need you to move. Wilfred, you need to move. Lay down. He doesn't notice I'm here. I'm going to try and put one right here in his lungs. Got him. No, 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 no. Oh, when he turned around, I thought I was done for. No. Oh, I just saw him bob up over there. All right, dead gator. Now, I haven't seen any of the other gators take off. Where are you going, bud? That doesn't mean they're not still around here. So does this count? This is a slip here or a slide, whatever it's called. Is that a log or a gator over there? Nothing, apparently. A piece of pipe. Hey, buddy. 14 yard. So I did get a left lung. And then I missed when he spun around. 14 yard shot. I kind of have to keep that one. All right. You're still growling. I hear something moving in the water. I can hear it in front of me. All right. That's not creepy at all. I don't see it. He's back there. He's growling at something. All right. What I do need to figure out, though, is how to get this frickin' need zone to work. Fortunately, that means I need to turn tracks on. There it is. And then hope... Fully, by stepping on the track, I'll actually get this mission complete. See the depression on the ground? Got it. Looks like they've been basking around here. Try sneaking up on them when they're idle. We didn't hunt gators much but for self-defense when I spent my summers here. My daddy taught me not to aim between the eyes. That'll just have it pitch in a fit. Try to land a shot between the eye and the ear instead. That destroys the brain, kills it quickly. Boy, you wandered into the wrong part of town. Wait, so what do I have to do now? Kill an alligator and pass the harvest check. I just did that. I saw a gator, didn't I? Oh, I should, like, if I had gone at all, oh, I'm screwing this mission up. Yeah, listen, bud, I, I don't care about you right now. Well, I mean, this is still an active zone, and so is the one across the way somewhere. So maybe I'll get lucky and you'll come back. Okay, stop moving. We're good. Oh, there's another one over there under the pipe. That's probably the one I was hearing earlier. 
Yes, Wilfred, I see him too. <laughs> You're nervous, buddy? Really? That's a shot I could take, but 40 yards. I wonder why he doesn't come out of the water the rest of the way. This deer has a death wish. God, should I try? I might as well, right? Oh. oh I dropped it. What? Calm yourself. I took care of the threat. Oh. Good smack. Yeah, looked like the instructions worked. No, I went below the eye. See, the problem, where are the ears? They're on the back somewhere, right? Around above the E, I think. Could be wrong. Okay, it's maybe time I stop calling you rookie now. With a clean harvest like that, you've earned it. Alligators were endangered here in Mississippi in the late 60s. So wildlife officials packed horse trailers with 3,500 juveniles from Louisiana. They drove them to the Mississippi State Fair and handed them out in bags. Can you imagine going to the fair to ride the carousel and shoot tin cans and taking home a baby gator? Sure makes for more of a prize than a goldfish in a bag. Thanks to those efforts, the state population's approaching 40,000 these days. There's some commercial farming, but mostly they're just hunting for sport. All right. So where it's kind of hard to see because we can't zoom in. I, I, I wish we had a zoom function. I know that would be great for animals with racks where you could zoom out and animals like this where I kind of want to see. I think that's the brain right there. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. So I was actually, a, I scraped the top of it. So the ear is down and back. Yeah, so from this angle, I actually need to hit like below the eye. Honestly, that shot was complete luck. All right, mission complete. Wilfred, let's get uh, headed over to the big, big, the, big, the big game hunt. Say that five times fast. Not too shabby. Day one out, three gators down, all with the bow. I honestly thought it would be a bit more challenging than that, and it probably will be. There's there's going to be that one big in eight mythical or nine legendary, and oh, it's going to take me hours, and it'll be fun and stressful. All right, on with the rest of the missions.